YouTube. This is Manny V. You guys are watching Inspire Your Mind. Today we have our lovely co-host today. Cindy. Cindy! Hi guys, nice to meet you. I'm Cindy. Today we're talking about addiction to smartphones. Well, is there anything good about it? Or are there more bad things about it? I think there's more bad than good. I mean, yeah. it's doing <laughs> yourself a disservice. You're becoming less able to communicate. You're actually becoming less social and you're bringing cancer to your brains with all this Wi-Fi connection. What are some of the highlights you like to talk about smartphone addiction? It's everywhere you go. Everybody is doing it. Everybody has their nose in their phone. Um, it's to be connected. If everyone feels the sense of needing to be connected, I think it's also yeah, for some people. It's also, I think, I mean, a narcissistic thing. People right. need to do it because they need to be talking to somebody. You know, the, I've said, talked to people who can't even look up at me when they're in their phone and having a conversation with me, and it's so disrespectful. It's rude, and it's not good for you. Period. It's not good right. for your brain. It's not good for your eyes. Um, it's just this, it's everywhere, it's almost like a virus. In, in moderation, that's okay, because nobody really has house phones anymore, we rely on our cell phones, right. but it's, um, it's everywhere. Adults, kids, I mean, us, you know, but it's, we don't need to be that connected. It never used to be that way, and it, it still doesn't have to be that way. You can enjoy life right. and things and other people and their company without having a cell phone. I, I totally agree. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, people are walking and they're texting, driving and texting, looking at social media app. I, I think it's a, it's a hidden agenda with the government. I think they want to immune us and change our mindset and put a brain or a chip in our head to get us so immune with all these free apps that they could just manipulate us as robots. And I think that's the bigger picture if you look at it. It's a distraction, too. Right. So that can go hand in hand with that. And you see kids Snapchatting while they're driving. And right. Playing Pokemon. Playing and Pokemon and, and hitting. you know, running into the street. Yeah. Trying to catch a Bulbasaur. Right. But, it, it, it's you know, so ridiculous. I mean, the is. most ridiculous thing is what's happening with these kids. I mean, you've seen that you go to a restaurant and the parent just hand them off a towel mm -hmm. like a sleeping pill. And yeah. they're on there, they're gl glued and they're not doing anything productive. They're not even communicating with the parents or the friends around them. They're just Snapchatting, playing stupid games, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And they're doing a disservice to self. Why? Because it's Wi-Fi wi connection is causing radiation. Our brains develop after the age of 15. So when you have Wi-Fi in the classroom and the house, you're actually causing cancer in your brains. You're making yourself more deluded. You cannot think for yourself anymore. And that's making you fu not functional. Mm -hmm. What would you say to kids that are doing that, parents that are doing that for the kids? It's not teaching them discipline. You give your child a tablet or a cell phone just so they'll calm down it because they're not happy about the restaurant you chose to sit at. That's not okay. That is not teaching your children discipline. Um, it's teaching them to here, play with this, get out of my hair. It's not, it's wrong. The kid is going to have a hard time in school and with other people growing up. And it's not good for them. It'll cause radiation in their brain and their head. It's already doing it to all of us, but especially because, again, their brains are not developed by the age of 15. Um, they're finding radiation in certain parts of, of these children's heads and face. And um, a lot more kids are going um, into the hospitals and finding getting cancer. The, this, um, these children are getting cancer a lot more than it used to be because of these cell phones and tablets and computers. And it's it's just not good. You don't, a child doesn't need to have an object like that, especially at three, four, five. I didn't even see a computer until I was, you know, like 10. So. Exactly. It definitely makes sense. I think we need to go back to our basics. I mean, if it's a flip phone, might as well. Is that going to cause fine. you to, to take away all the hardship? You might as well go back to square one. And they still have those track phones out there you right. can get where you pay for the minutes and you can buy the phone at the grocery store. That's what I had at one point. Simple, easy communication. Exactly. So you don't need the fancy iPhone. Exactly, and, and these people that are on their smartphone, what are they actually doing? They're on Facebook or Twitter or Tinder. I mean, they're not really going on there for educational apps anyways. And if you're, you're on YouTube, you're actually doing a disservice to yourself by actually listening to it with the Wi-Fi on. You might as well just download that song and save it on your phone or save it on an iPod or an a MP3. Because mm -hmm. with the MP3, it's already saved there. There's no type of radiation, and you can, you're not causing a disservice to yourself. And as far as educational apps, there's a couple of them. And they are on the phone, but they're on the computer. What I suggest to do, if you like Lumosity, which is a brain game that helps you challenge your brain yeah. and think out of the box, don't use the phone and use it. Use it on the computer. Mm -hmm. And there's Absolutely. something called Quizza, which is a really cool trivia of certain topics about phones, 
um, actors, ma mathematics, whatever. Go on a computer and use Quizza and challenge yourself if you really want to become more educated and think out of the box. Absolutely. 100%. I totally agree with all of that. Absolutely. Was there any last words I could give to our audience member who is actually facing this struggle at this moment? Um, take time out of your day, especially with kids, parents, if you have children on their phones, tell them to go play outside. Take them to the park. Let them play in your front yard. Give them a ball, a bat, something. Tell them to run around the house five times or run in a circle around the yard and I'll time you or who can do it faster. Anything. It'll keep them active. Mm -hmm. It'll keep their brain going. It'll tire them out so you don't have to deal with them and then they can go to sleep, you know, for the night. But also, uh, everybody who isn't a kid and have your phone, take, make sure you take time out of your day to, to really enjoy the little things in life. You go outside, take a walk, see somebody you haven't seen in a while. You know, take yourself away from it just a little bit. I always try to do that every day. Absolutely. Like right now. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. You want the kid to become more creative. And that's the best way you do when you have them go out in the yard and play with sand and make something out of it. Mm -hmm. How do you think Steve Jobs became who he is? He was a creative kid that he became this iconic figure. And he became such an iconic figure that he banned his kids from using the iPad and the iPhone. Why? Because he knew what it was going to do to them. So you might as well do what uh, Mr. Steve Jobs did and mm -hmm. do a service yourself and don't have a ban, have time periods, maybe certain apps, or just try to convert the stuff that they want to a computer instead of having their eyes strictly on the device. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'd like to end our show, and I want to thank you guys for being part of Inspire Your Mind, and uh, subscribe, and definitely leave a comment.